Now we're going to go into the various component parts of a balanced door. The first component part is the check and guide channel assembly, which is located up in the frame above the door. Okay, the actual part is this right here. This is the actual check and guide channel assembly. What you're going to see is the removable part, which is the hydraulic portion, has two valves to, to adjust the closing speed of the door. A first initial speed and then a second latching speed. Both can be adjusted independently from the underside without taking the door down. This portion here is what we call the fixed portion. It stays in the frame at all times and the underside of that pivot shaft assembly engages here into the underside of this fixed portion. In the next picture, we have a little insert here. Now what's that showing, which is very important? The reason there's a split in this guide channel. You can take this out for servicing without removing the door. Very important when you get into large, heavy doors. You want to be able to service this check without having to take the door down. And that's what this is showing. Door open to 90 degrees, you can remove the hydraulic portion. The next is the door roller guide. It's this little part right here. Now this is a cast manganese housing. And this is a sealed roller bearing where this part engages in the underside of the guide channel as the door opens and closes, it rolls back and forth. Now this is cast manganese for strength because this part will take a shock when the door is open and closed. So this alloy is very important that it's cast manganese. The next part are two parts we're going to show together. First we're going to talk about the top arm in this orientation. And we're going to talk about the top pivot bearing. Now when you see the top pivot bearing, what you'll notice there's a steel bearing inside here. And that's fine for the top location because it's not as susceptible to the elements at the top of the door as the bottom of the door. So the steel roller bearing is the proper application for the top of the door. How the two are hooked together is they're hooked by the use of a one inch diameter stainless steel pin. When the door is put in position, when the door is hung in other words, you take and drop the pivot pin down through the top arm and engage it into the pivot bearing. And that hooks the top of the door to the top of the shaft to the top of the arm and allows the door rolls when the door opens and closes. The next slide, what this is doing, it's going to show you the, all the parts we just talked about together as a little composite view. In other words, what's going on all at the same time at the top of the door. In other words, you have that check and guide channel assembly, the fixed portion with the uh, shaft and the top arm assembly engaged into the fixed portion that holds the shaft in place. You have the removable portion of the check and guide channel, hydraulic fluid, again with a split that can be taken out for servicing. You have the top arm coming across, you have the top pivot, and then what's holding the two together, shown dotted, is that top pivot pin, the stainless steel pivot pin. The other part here is that door roller guide, again shown it's inside the top rail of the door, and it projects out of the top rail, up inside, up into that guide channel, and engages as the door opens and closes as it rolls back and forth. 